hi guys welcome back to my channel so today I wanted to do a super quick upload on how I preserve my hair at night I feel like um, everyone always talks about the pineapple you know just throw your hair in a pineapple and that's how you preserve it but a I feel like that doesn't work for all textures and B it definitely doesn't work for all lengths so I just wanted to include some of the preservation techniques that work for moi and um, some of these are going to, you know, only work if you have longer hair. Some are better if you have shorter hair. So, you know, I'm trying to dabble in a little bit for everybody. Um, so, yeah, um, if you want to know what's going on with my hair right now, um, I'm just in love with it. It is um, still the same combo that I uploaded that um, Miss Jessie's and the uh, Kinky Curly Curling Custard. Um, so, why am I... Can I at least get in the center of the screen? And why am I so close? I'm so crooked, but now we're here. Now we're here. What are we going to do? Um, so, yeah, this is what's going on with my hair. It's super big right now. Super fluffy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I love it. It's like the closest I've ever been to a fro in my life. If I had shorter hair, I feel like bangs would would be happening this is not why y'all are here this is how I get distracted okay so first way is similar to a pineapple except you're not going to be using any hair ties basically what I do is I take this huge satin scarf that I purchased off Amazon it was like three bucks I will link it below so that you guys can find it and I love it and it's super huge and it fits over my giant head that I have so basically all I do is similar to what I would do with a pineapple I flip my hair forward to make sure all of it's at the top and then I literally just go in make sure the back is covered flip my hair back make sure all of this is not getting caught wrap around and tie in the back So yeah, this is what this looks like and then the um, front kind of, or the back kind of flops over to the front and then what I'll do is like sleep on, bleh, sleep on a satin scarf um, just for this that's hanging out or I will literally just be like, hey, you're just going to get in here like this. I'm going to tuck you in here like we're tucking someone in the bed. going to read them a bedtime story. You see this one, who, how'd you get here? Who told you to skate skate from the rest of the kids okay so now that that's in there so yeah it'll be like this and you know I'm getting like Bruno Mars vibes you know yes 24 karat magic y'all see y'all see my star oh nope Starbucks cup back there making a cameo hey hey Starbucks okay so um this is the first way and this um if you have longer hair this is going to work for you and it also takes the dent out of your hair that when you pineapple it with a hair tie sometimes can leave in there and then also if you don't like your hair super stretched if you kind of want to maintain your tighter curl pattern or if you have a looser curl pattern you don't want it to stretch out anymore this um definitely will work for you and um basically it's kind of preference on how you want your hair to be the next day so as you see it wasn't really um my hair wasn't tied up for that long but I still have a little bit more volume in the top than I did prior to me putting my hair up like that so that first way that I just showed you that's gonna give you more volume um, the next day but it's not going to really aid in length or anything like that but this way um, is going to kind of minimize the volume and also it's going to change you see this kind of like more rounded shape that I have the next way is going to give you more of like an A shape like that so basically I just kind of make sure my hair is parted in the middle like that and I kind of lay my hair down and pull it to the back like this and then with my scarf still folded in that triangle I go in tie underneath my hair bring that around to the front pull the scarf back behind my ears and then tie it like this.
and this is going to help the reason it helps with the eight shape is because the hair that's in the front is basically being stretched so it's going to make it more of the same length as the rest of your hair so that your hair is going to be flatter on the top it's going to be one length on the side so once it kind of falls and hangs it's going to kind of hang more like that and depending on my mood I do both and for this right here I don't like my hair really touching my neck at night so what I'll do is so I kind of take the scarf and pull it together like this and then I will just tuck in like that. Cute, right? You don't want to tuck it in too much if you're trying to like retain some of your length because if you like kind of push it up like that directly to your head that's you know going to cause some shrinkage but if you want shrinkage then kind of bunch it up in there and you'll have even more curls when you wake up in the morning. Okay and now the next way and this is for people with uh, shorter hair where neither one of um, the methods that I just showed you would be useful to you. It's so easy. For elastics and you literally just part your hair into four sections so and you're just going to tie it off not even tie it off you're going to put it in four very loose ponytails so ah. so this would be one and again this is this would be a puff if your hair was shorter same thing in the back this would be one puff. So two. My hair is just giving me so much life right now. Three. I'm really counting off like y'all can't count to four. I watch too many cartoons. And lastly, Get out of here. Four. <laughs> and um, what this does is, if you could imagine your hair being shorter, so the little the puffs would be like that. What it's going to do is kind of slightly stretch your roots without disturbing the curl patterns at the end. You know what I'm saying? Does that make sense? And then um, I would recommend just sleeping with a bonnet on. On top of it because then the like the band around the bonnet will kind of smooth uh, the perimeter of your hair down but it won't flatten the rest of your hair and I know you're thinking like even if you sleep on one side curls are pretty resilient as long as they don't have too much friction and because of the satin bonnet they won't so even if you like sleep on one side once you get up in the morning and kind of shake your hair out um, it's gonna it's gonna go back to its, its previous grandeur so I look like what's that girl's name from Big Comfy Couch? Y'all know who I'm talking about. What is her? Y'all, y'all know I'm giving Big Comfy Couch cheese right now. Don't don't tell me that I'm not, cause I am, and I'm okay with it. Um, yeah. So those are the three ways that I wanted to show you. Of course, the fourth way would be pineappling, but like I said, that doesn't work for everyone's hair. And yes, I'm going to do my outro with my hair like this, cause ain't no shame in my game. Um, but yeah, I hope this was, you know, beneficial. I just wanted you guys to see something quick and easy. Yeah, just wanted to show this to you guys. So I hope you found the video informational. Um, I kind of went over this on, I went on YouTube live earlier. Let me know if you was there. Um, we had a nice little chit chat for an hour. This video would have been up earlier if the people on YouTube live didn't distract me with all their good and funny questions. So this y'all fault. This y'all fault this video up going up late. Um, so yeah, that's all I have to say. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> Bye, guys. Mwah.